Welcome everyone. It's another 2v2. I don't know how many they've been doing in all honesty, but um, we're back in. 2v2, of course, on Arabia once more. This time it's actually Green Arabia, not Desert Arabia. And good lord, this is. Oh, okay. I was like, how open is this for Togal? Togal here playing in the red this time, but um, <laughs> he's uh, SY team versus basically the NABS team here in the 2v2 format. It's China and Turk. We've got Yo playing as China, Togal playing as Turk. We've got China by Wanda and Turk by Pike. Turk by Pike. Okay, I should stop doing accents. But, um, <laughs> Togawa has just one ridiculously open map. I mean, he can close it. Like, you got the wall to the left hand side up top here, but look at the distance he's got to go to wall it, though. I mean, if it was a VNS team or. Well, it is an SY as well, so I'm guessing Togawa wall. <laughs> but it is pretty, pretty darn open, I have to say. But nonetheless, though, uh, he's going to be playing as uh, the. <clears throat> Turks and Turk was China is actually pretty interesting, of course. And in China, of course, if you got, I can have a rough start. I always have a rough start with China. These players don't. I do though because I'm a noob. Like you know, I kill balls for tar that's on TC. I uh, <laughs> I don't find sheep. Everything, but you know, Yo looks like got a nice little solid start going. Even managed to push a deer in. That's really vital, of course, because it's a little bit difficult to get the food income going. But looks like Yo's got no problems. Even catching a quick deer in as well. <laughs> catching. What is this Pokemon Go? Uh, one is going to find it that she's extra sheep up top here. Anyway, so it could actually be Wanda versus Yo on the left hand side. On the right, it'll be Pike versus Dogal. So a little bit of switch up this time. It's not actually going to be uh, Wanda versus Dogal and so on and so forth. Nice to see a quick change in that department as well. Uh, Wanda's base. Uh, it's like a right. Uh, the problem again for Wanda though is that he has no back wood. But this time this woodline's quite close to him. Uh, again, fairly wallable ish. He's actually got some not bad gold here. He's actually got some woodline to the top hand side of his map as well. But it is still a bit open on the front. I'm sure he can probably wall it off and close it as as the match goes on. But it could be a lot worse. Pike, meanwhile, you know, his base got lovely back wood. He's got back berries. He's actually got back boar. Um, what about his main goal though? Because last time he had a main goal issue, again, it's not looking the best. It is a bit further out towards the east side of the map. But then again, though, he can wall it off if he feels like doing so. So it's not all the end of the world. Some stone up to the top there as well. On top of it. I'm hearing a ball being taken. actually gone for the back ball. Cause probably because he can't find his front ball just yet. Like I was saying, my map is really bad. And that is definitely the case. His, his gold's in the front, the stone's also on the front too. He's probably going to have to drush. He's going to have to drush Pike. Or have to go full full aggressive. Something. He's got to do something. If he drushes, then it does leave him a little bit open, I have to say. Because he can't even really wall. See what he's gone for. He's actually gone for three on wood. So yeah, he's probably going to have to go for quite an open play. He's probably going to have to go for scouts or something like that. Just to try and be aggressive. Put put basically Northern Pike on the back foot. But this time Pike's got to find his map to wall in. So we'll see. But look at this up in Dugau. He's found what he's looking for. He's found a ball. This time, thank you very much. And poor Pike, he lost the ball last game. He's losing the ball this game. It looks like that ball's going to be in just nice. He's got to pick up those two sheep still, but I don't think he's scouting. Oh, just in that one little tile range. But the gal, I think bringing two balls at once. Oh, what a beast. What a beast, the gal. Bringing the two balls at once. Not going to lie, I can't really do those. Unless it's on, you know, Black Forest. Ball explored. Oh, quick palisade, just to make sure that... Oh, look at that. Cheeky. Put the palisades over it so the ball doesn't make some weird jolt out to the side. That is something I need to learn. That is something I need to learn. There you go, people. You learn something. <laughs> I suppose things play over there. Like, oh my god, that's what I do. And I'm just like, I've never seen that before, but that works so well. That's genius. Oh, that was brilliant. So the party in the board would have gone round here. It would have been an awful kill. Realizing that, quickly palisades over it, and that's it. Bob's your uncle. Oh, those, that's what I love about AOC. Those, those small things. Oh, genius. I'm blessed. Those like uh, yo's just starting to. Uh, Wow, he's actually pushed in three deer. He's got his second boar in. Has he stolen it? No, I don't think he has stolen it. It's like actually that wonder is actually on the scout. Having a little bit of a cheeky look. Yeah, he's on his second boar as well. I'd say he can't push all those three deer and, and steal a boar. Otherwise, that's just. That's just wonder's bad, really. 
it looks like it looks like a response coming from Pike. No, he's lost a ball. Go for a drush, wall up basically, and get yourself up to the castle edge. And that's what he's going to do. He's got the uh, barracks already down. Some militia are inside. He's going to pick up the Gauss Scout as well with that TC5, but I don't think he was able to get much on top of that really. As if, did I hit a nerve? No, he didn't hit a nerve. No, 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 I'm, I'm just joking around. I'm, I'm just joking around. I'm, I like, I like banter. I like, I like a lot of banter. SMB knows how much I love banter. I just ask SMB. I just insult him every day. Anyway, so Beetle Ages are now coming through, of course. Uh, Yo, this will be the first one to hit up to the Beetle Age. And it probably a bit of than Wonder, but of course, Pike going for that Drash. He's going to start sending it over. He does pick up two sheep for Dugal. <laughs> He will also run into a warp at the same time. A little bit of damage it has come across. 9 HP lost, but nothing really too significant. Of course, Dugal, seeing that there's a Drush coming, has already fully, pretty much warded up all of his economy, so it's going to be absolutely fine. Even that barracks is also within range of the TC, I believe, so can't really even hit that. And spot all this and basically realize that his fruits of labor won't come to much, I don't think. The only thing that will basically come into play is if one of these berry patches will actually be used up. They're all 100 HP, so... Sorry, 100 HP. 100 food. So it's going to be unlikely that they're going to be uh, harassed that much anyway. He's got to find a weak palace that can quickly basically puncture, but it's enough HP for basically the gal to have warning off. Kind of like a bit like a spin the wheel. Causing the nuisance really towards these doors, trying to make them wall up as much as they can. I even delete that pathway to put another one there just to basically give them a bit more room. Oh, so gal. So, Pike now pick up to the feud Stable is down there from, from uh, the guys. He's going for scouts. That's actually expected, like I said. And what is up from Yo? Yo is not going to scouts himself, and Wander is scout as well. So, three stables already down. There could be a lot of horse action today, people. There could be a lot of horse action. But of course, Northern Pike's actually got 28 builds on the way up to the feudal age. Now, I wonder if he's going to go for an FC build, or he's going to go for sort of a trash flush. He did lose a boar, by the way, and I don't see any farms. I see three farms, uh, four, five, and I've got one person taking a sheep. It looks to me like a Drush Flush sort of style, but he's not even fully walled up either, so I think he's going to have some sort of... Hmm... I guess he could do scouts himself, or he might go straight, and straight into archers here. Looks like it's going to be archers actually from the gold, looking like it's five on the gold, so I think it's going to be a couple of archers, a couple of archery rangers, and maybe some spearmen to deal with these scouts, of course. Of course, with these, uh, let's just still causing a couple of problems. These scouts are actually back, and one's taking quite a lot of HP. I think that's the original scout. And deal with this problem. I mean, one that militia took a lot of HP. It's a bit of a surprise there. Trying to take more favorable fights here on top of the hill. Oh, looks like he will leave himself to be a little bit vulnerable though, because he does have him on the hill. Now, of course, that's him getting involved. War target, but that's like militia, and that's the end of that draft, by the way. That's all gone. Might lose one scout. Oh, I have HP. Type to gal, you know, do a bit more communication. Ask if they are if awarded. Of, of course, wonder if Pike of communication. Just one team speak, most likely is. Unfortunately, Pike is okay. Now they're start building that archery. Double archery range coming down already. Spearman already making its way out. Now, of course, you can get double scouts on him, onto him already. He's got four scouts coming in from the gal, and Yo's going to start coming in with three. Seven scouts in total, by the way. Maths is real on this stream. <laughs> and let's try and do some damage. I mean, seven scouts is that enough? I mean, you can do a lot of damage if he finds a, like, a weak spot, but it's like, again, that Pike is on top of these things. He's already got one Spearman in place by the wood line. The berries do look a bit vulnerable, though. Spearman and the Spears are there, though. A second one just pops out as well. Okay, he's got to back off. But this could be a big trap hit. Ooh, a couple of hits will fly out. It's like one scout just goes. Second one, again, a bit vulnerable, but it's okay. He will get out. I think that was the weakest scout. No, it wasn't, actually. This one is still alive. It's like a yo is trying to make his way around. Does he... This could be a little bit interesting. I could try and find to. Uh, it's going to be too difficult. 
Instead of Galp to get the wheelbarrow right now. <coughs> Excuse me. And actually looks like that the Gal's gonna just gonna try and go up, I think. He's got getting the wheelbarrow, he's got one stable, I don't see any archery ranges. In fact he's just got a blacksmith coming up. Now it could still go to four scouts in the bloodlines and the you know, scale barding armor, but I don't see any more scouts being created either, so it's gonna be like a four a four scout click up. He hasn't got enough food either, he's got four hundred and sixteen. It's a little, it's a, definitely a little bit risky, I have to say. He isn't fully walled in. It's still, he's still got a fairly exposed map, and it's gonna, yeah, it's going to force tower out of them, knowing the fact that there's, you know, there's archers coming to start harassing him around. At the same time, that's like what well, was. Well, one is going to start coming out now with five scouts in total. It's going to get the bloodlines as well to make them pretty beefy. Now, can he find anything of value? Now, it looks like actually that Yo is pretty much building up that wall, and he's already got a couple of spearmen in the vicinity, so the scouts can't really get in. Now, the only thing he probably can get in is probably if there's a hole in the wall. And as we all know, there are holes in the wall. <laughs> looks like that the spearmen ran into the scouts, of course. It looks like, of course, with the, again, the bloodline's pretty much impossible to kill a scout, and those archers are all going to get picked up as well, so good. Find there by one day will slow down the progress of Yo's in that transition to Argus. He probably will be clicking up actually short. He's got quite a decent amount of farms. And of course he's onto you know wood and gold build, so the food will start to rack up. How is it Yo doing on the resources front? Yeah, but yeah. About to click up, and so is Togal Pike. It's actually the first to click up though to Castle Lake, and he'll be there shortly. He hasn't made much in terms of the military for it's actually got 13. I take that I take that back. It's actually got 13 military. It's now trying to find where the 13 military is. It is. Oh, back at base, trying to deal with some scout there from Yo. We try to pick up some nice tier villages, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen anyway. So Pike of course on the way to go up to Castle. Like, he's actually got no upgrades in his arc, not even a fletching, so you probably should think about getting it. Just so we can transition quickly into the bodkin arrow and so on. There's a scout there from one that's trying to pick up as best they can. Still, the woodline is still nice and safe and protected. Now it's the gold, but again, quick walls coming in once more from the gang. Should we say that it's now that actually the farm is a little bit exposed yet? Yeah, it has to take them back, but he's on the way to Carve Slate, so. Yes, yeah, a little bit of food disruption, but not the end of the world. And now that looks like we're coming from Dogao, is actually in the knights. So he's got two stables coming up. You might make a couple of camels just to deal, or yeah, maybe a couple of camels to try and deal with the scouts, but I think that's necessary. I think it's just nice, we'll do fine. And nice it will be. Actually, it will do much better against the arch as well. You don't want to make two camels just to deal with a couple of scouts, but knights can do that for starters. Problem is, though, because he hasn't fully walled, the woodland is still exposed, and this is when it's, this is perfect timing right now for Pike. Crossbow and Bodkin is being done, and this is going to hit the woodland hard. I'm a little bit curious. He's going to lose quite a lot of villagers if he's not careful. And look at this from from, from, from Wanda. He's just waiting outside, ready to start. Just basically, if, if the bills come out, the scouts will have him. If he stays in there, the crossbows will have him. It's better just to run, and that's what he's going to do. The gal is just going to run. I'm also surprised. I thought he would have run a little bit earlier, actually, but he could lose a lot of bills here. It's one bill down, back to two, three. Oh, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That was nine bills. He just lost nine bills. And that that is why, people, <laughs> you do not <laughs> hang about. Oh, no, oh, no, of course, he's trapped in by the gold, and the crossbows are going to have him on the gold. Oh, that's two bills. Make it three. Oh, this is just GG for, for the gal. He just lost about 12 bills. He's down to 24, 25, and Pike is on 38. This has disrupted his food economy, it's disrupted his wood economy, and now his gold too. I can't even see how much he can get out of those stables. Because even if he runs out of food on the farm, then he hasn't got any wood to replace it with. So yeah, it looks like this to go is a little bit screwed now. It's still not completely over though, but oh, ooh, be careful. The nice thing to deal with this problem now is going to be all those palaces and just have them now. The scout's going to try and come in and help, give that little bit of a ha helping hand, but they're too weak to try and deal with the problem here. And yeah, he's, I think he's just trying to strike the, the knights so the crossbows can get more hits off, but that's not going to be the case. And probably those final two palaces will get deleted. Yeah, there we go. Easy pickings. I think he's just going to lose one knight here. Yeah, too much armor and HP. It's 
just it was one of those things where it was just unfortunately where you had that point where Pyre was a cross post, it was just a little bit too late to try and deal with it. And he just he should have backed out those bills a lot earlier. But unfortunately that's just a mistake, everyone makes them. You're saying do you have army? Let's go kill yours. Yeah, the only response you have to have now is you've got to kill that other guy pretty quickly. You have to do you have to give that damage back out, so otherwise you're gonna start falling behind and he is. Look at this. 28 bills to 45, two TCs already up, three TCs in fact. It's even harder now, so I don't know how you're gonna find that those those numbers. How's he gonna find like 15 bills to kill? To even remotely get back into the game. The only thing I think that probably the gal should do now is just sling. Just give your resources to Yo. Let Yo just take control of the game. Just wall up. But in fact, it's going to build a second TC on that town set, on that wood line. And get the wood economy back on track. But right now, it's like going to start meeting in the middle here. Actually, it's like Yo's coming in with those. Sorry, the gal's coming in with the knights. Yo's coming in with the crossbows too. Pike is making, making his way back, trying to get Wanda in position. Just trying to regroup. But it looks like actually Wanda's actually got plus two. I just want to find all those crossbows there from Yara, and there's not enough crossbows there, they're going to get picked off. Now the knights, of course, need to get out. Full retreat. This this looks like a full control game here from Nabs. I can't see how they can lose from here at this point, just because of the fact that, well, Tagao is just so behind. But at the same time, though, you know, Yo is doing a really good job as a economy, 57 bills. He is booming like a mother trucker. Three TCs up and running. He's got the ballistics code coming as well and heavy plow. Damn, China's so cheap for the upgrades. But now, because of this though, the problem they do have is that the military advantage is so with Nabs right now. 20 and 23 to 23 and 9 from Vigal. Plus 2 as well, better upgrades. And they're just getting pounded down right now as well. Pike and Wonder are just, just pushing constantly here. Gotta go back to the TC, of course. And find some protection. The gal's trying to rendezvous as well, but he's sort of in America around situation. The knight's just all over him. He can't find him. He hasn't got the upgrades either. He's only got plus one bloodlines against plus two plus one. Of course, those crossbows getting. Stuck in course now on the hill though, so she gets to find them a bit more of a favourable fight. And it looks like Pike is sticking around for a little bit too long and we'll lose a couple of crossbows on the way out, but on the end of the water I don't think the Pike Pike's just um yeah, huge eco as well, so that's fine. In fairness though, you know, Dagao is I think I it feels like Dagao is I will say he's catching back up, but he has stabilized and you know he's got forty one bills, but he's third TC up now, so it's maybe maybe playing a bit more of a down than it should be. But they have got to find a way back into this game still. Devil engagement right now, of course. One with a nice plus two plus one, but again, crossbow is coming in from the other ballistics, so they are doing some good damage. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice, we're trying to go do some more raid, but that TC does come up in a good, in good nick, in good time. This does still leave. Wait, wait, where the hell is. Okay, so it looks like, it looks like Tagao is sort of slowing off on the production front. He's only got 300 gold as far as I can see. He has put mass on stones. It looks like he's going to go for some sort of genissary play. He's getting some camels out now to try and deal with this night problem. Either Tagao has stupid amounts of gold in the bank. He's got a bit of gold in the bank. But look at this. Yo is already up. I am up. And Tagao's like, yes, thank God. Get up, son. Yo, yo. Yeah, there we go. Yo, yo, yo. Up to kind of towards the Imperial Age. On 79 bills though, if he does if he takes a big hit on the raiding front, you know, there are still still places like the wood line's still a little bit exposed, if you ask me. And, you know, the back end of the economy as well is still ex you know, still quite exposed. So what I'm basically saying is that if any sort of you know 10, 15 knights come on in as he's going up, he could face a lot of problems here. Keeping his army back at base is he's actually building another archery range market out in the middle of nowhere because you get um photography most likely, but <laughs> it's just I would have thought why well, just build it to the back. <laughs> thank you, Ooh. thank you, thank you, you <gasps> wonderful man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't know who what is it? Actually I'll keep I'll got it on my phone, so I'll see it coming up. So thank you very much. I'll see you in a bit. But um Oh subscribe, thank you very much. Kigo AoE just subscribe, thank you very much. 
So, uh, so a free subscription? Just subscribe. <gasps> New subscriber. Oh my god. Day is made. We we are rich. We are rich. <laughs> Thank you very much, of course, for your support. It's going to go to loads of stuff and projects, hopefully, so do uh, stay tuned on that front. But beautiful. Beautiful. So Imperial Upgrade coming in from Yo, the Cartography Thumb Ring now kicking as well. Looks like it's going to be what Arbalest. Arbalest, Cap Ram, Arbalest, Seed Ram hopefully kicking in. But the point looks like they're going to start keep pressing on the Gal right now. The camels of course are going to be being filtered in. But the problem is, look at this army here from Wanda. Absolutely huge. Oh my god, a card's being put up. Oh, but... Oh, it's one of those sort of back and forth. The Wanda backs off. He could have... Oh. Oh, that, I think that, yeah, he was like, eh, and then just realised that actually, it's actually okay. Oh my goodness. If, if Wanda found that castle being built, he would have been in a ton of trouble. This, that could have been, that actually could have been game-defining at this point. Because once he goes in period, we can definitely help stabilise the guy out here with, you know, the Arbalest and, and the, you know, Bracer, of course. Pike now finally clicking up to the period himself. There's 63 Vols, but the guy is definitely far behind. Pike is on 91. Interestingly though, not much difference between Dugao and Wanda, nonetheless. But Dugao, sorry, but now Wanda himself is clicking up too. So there we go, Imperial Great Ar Bracer Arbor is just waiting his time before King that to kick in, and it looks like probably Wanda and Northern Pike will find his opportunity to basically retreat. There was a couple of numbers on the way out, but nothing really much to, to you know, cry about really. Castle's now up. Now the castle here is interesting. It, it is nice and nice and defensive, not from the base, but it really isn't protecting. If it was just like here, just a couple of tiles back, it would be lovely because it covers the gold and everything. But the stone is still exposed. The whole base is still exposed. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, you wonderful man. Oh my God, people are just flying it in. Smee just subscribed. Is that a resubscription? Oh my God, two subscriptions. I am, I am balling. Get a sub train going, beat that T9. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just kidding, T9. I'm just kidding. Craigasm, Craigasm on Craigasm. Thank you very much, me. Uh, so, right now, backing that being done, of course, by Yo. So, we're going to try and help Doug Al sleep back into that game because probably realizing the situation that they're in, it's not going to be enough at this point. The siege work is coming up from Yo here up in the front. Yeah, he needs to get pretty aggressive. That has to be the case. So, uh, another castle gets, sorry, a castle pine gets put up by, by Pike. Also now two rangers as well, so he's going to go into hand cannons, I believe. Hand cannons is the case. Of course, he can't get the arbalest with the, with the uh, turrets, if I remember. So not really much you can do with that. And you look at that massive sling coming in from Yo. A whole ton of wood and, and food coming in through to him. And that might actually help him click up. <laughs> Massively behind and Yo goes, no anymore! <laughs> I love Yo's humor, it's brilliant. I thought he's just being fully direct. Anyway, so three steps get put down. Looks like it's gonna try and go up as soon as possible. Yeah, oh my god, Yo is just slinging tons. And there we go, Yo, Yo, to get out finally clicked on that's so important. Because Pike is now in the Imperial Age, of course. So he needs to get something going. Cavalier, that being of course, coming from Wanda, but he does want to try and transition pro properly, I would say, into those Chuko News. But that's a huge amount of knights into those cavalier, and I don't think that's enough arbalest to deal with it. They're 34 to 54 from Yo, but I feel like it's split up in two different directions, or three different directions. So the problem is he could definitely could get completely shut down here, and this is what's going to be the case. Oh, he's going to go for the wrap around here, he's going to go up around the hills. Be nice, a little bit of steps. Oh, it's like actually, Yo sees that huge army coming in, backs up with the first set, and he realizes the problem he's got. So, what he's going to do is he's going to pack himself into this beautiful spot here and try and fight it out as best he can. But this will just cause Bond to, to delete all of this. Just delete all of it, yeah. And then that's it. Easy pickings. He'll lose everything here, plus four armor, it's just too much. He even deletes the stable here, just for good measure. It's like, I can, I'm worth losing the stable, it just saves quite a lot of cavalry here, which he will do. And that would just clean up everything, and that's just that's what I was saying, it's just a little too late. With the aggression, this is what's happened. Yeah, one just cleans up house here. This will probably cause actually, maybe, yeah, Pikeman to come out from Yo, probably the Halberdiers. Yeah, he's lost a lot of units here, but he's still got quite a few back at home, and he's got the castle up the top of here, so building his way towards that transition to Chukonu, which just shreds everything. 
I think, however, the sort of other side is a bigger problem. The cars have been put up by Pike on the other hill, which is really key here. Got two bomb bar cans out and a couple of hand cans also coming in the mix. Janny's coming here from Togal, but that's not good enough. Oof. Monster gets taken out immediately. Yo's doing elite skirmish here. Okay. Hmm. Problem with, problem with Yo's done is that because he's slung out all his resources to help the Gala, he has put himself behind in terms of research. He's, he's, he's still slinging in loads of resources here. Big investment coming into the Gala, but it has brought him back into the game, and they actually are in the score lead here. Still, the siege continues three combine cans on, on the hill. Maybe that, make that a fourth, in fact. I think the Gala's biding his time. I actually can get the Cavalier option. Ooh, cheeky. That is some cheeky play coming in there as well. A couple of rams also queued up inside. Might see a couple of Bombay cans, a little bit of dodgeball. QMBL. QT90 actually. Cannonball. Or oh, dodgeball hype. <laughs> Get the, way the, the pain you cause. I don't cause any pain. So Hussars will, will of course be upgraded, of course. As part of the Turk bonus, for free, and instantly. He's playing his time, but oh, look at this from Wanda, he's come over here this side with a whole bunch of Cavalier. His job was done up top. Oh, and now he's going to come down here, this is definitely going to be a real pain with the counter cows. just like, oh god. This is not what I was expecting, and then he comes. Huge fuck I'm about to begin here, I think, but there's just too much, there's too much army here. The cows just got to back off. He can't do anything, he's going to lose those, those, probably those, uh, super weapons as well. Bomb by cans are just too much to handle. And all of this, just all of this. Where is Yo? Where is Yo? He's putting more cars in the middle of the map to try and secure the middle ground, but I think it's war. I think it's actually more the Gal's base. And that looks like Pike's gonna start putting Bomb by Towers on top of Dogal. Just that add some salt. I suppose nice though, it's really good, it's nice to help with the position. Bomb Towers just so good. And especially with, with the force with the artillery that kicks in as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, 12 plus 2, so yeah, 8, 8 plus 4. Still got one more upgrade to go, I believe, but apart from that, he is set. That range is ridiculous. And those bomb bike cannons lots of splash damage, getting a couple of those cavalier. Big fight, though, isn't too. A couple of camels getting involved here as well, doing some good damage, but is it enough, though? I don't think so. Yo has come into the Arbalos right now, but look at the damage output that these bomb bike cannons do. The gal really needs to go on top of this and take care of them. Look, he actually is, so it's actually looking okay, this fight's looking not too bad, but the cavaliers are making their way through the crowd. And they get onto the top of those can and cannoneers, doing a really good job there. Two bomb by cannons are left, but there's actually quite a lot there from really in play by there by Dugal and Yo. Nice and patient, yeah, they lost the they lost the castle and everything, there's a couple of bomb cars, but they cleaned up a lot of army there. And with this nice structures being put in place here from Yo, it has enabled him to basically get the ball rolling with the Chuko Nu to Castle's up and running, 8 plus 4, plus 4 on the defense, and now even Halberdier's coming through just in case the Cavaliers, which they are getting kicked back up on again. Still though, the Dame's not over just yet though. Still gonna try and deal with these, <clears throat> these, um, Bombard Towers. He needs to get the Siege Ram, he is getting Siege Ram. The other problem right now, of course, is those Bombard Cannons. Now, it's quite a more Hussars being put in, there's like a slight issue with the Gold Front, I believe. He needs to start getting trade up, that's for sure. Turks are just so sort of goddamn heavy on the gold. He's got four markets up and running, so looking good there. Now he's starting to do some more progress. One is now coming back into those Cavalier. Those, those Bombard Towers are just so goddamn strong. You need to get a trebuchet maybe out or something to try and take care of this. Pike's saying a bit of wood. Now what's I go up the top here? Well, come on. Albert is making their way in. Skirmishes here from Wanderer. Uh, Trying to defend the line here. Does quite well against the Chukonus, but also against those the Halberdiers too, as the cars get put up. But it's not enough skirmishes to try and take us out. A couple of Cavaliers are making their way in though. Can they be done in time? Three Cavaliers. Is it the case? Well, the Halberdiers are a bit too distracted and they're going to try and take out those Cavaliers now. So we'll see. Oh, this could be a bit too late. We've got two bills left, three bills left. Ah. Wow, okay. That was denied at like 95%. That is a Tetrageous Castle. But nonetheless though, I think there's just too much, too much coming in from Pike right now. 
I think the gold sword is starting to dry up a little bit here from Dogao. There's just too much going on. The, the hand cannons are just in that mass. is just shredding. On top of the fact that there's Bombay cannons as well, it's such a powerful combo. You can't, it's so difficult to deal with. You have to have your own, sort of, really, to try and deal with it. Or SO. And even then... Yeah, 12 plus 2 range. And, of course, no one's got SO. Just in case anyone didn't know. <laughs> Just in case. But it's going to be GG, I think, for the SY team. I mean, I can't, I can't see how they can push this back at this point. The Sea Dragon's now start coming through, but again, the Bombay Cannons just do such good work on them. Oh, yeah, Dugal's just like, I can't stop this, yeah. Artillery now coming in from Dugal, but... He needs to get his own Bombay Cannons just to try and basically stop the Siege. The only, the only help that they do have is that Yo can try and push the left-hand side just as quick, but... I think actually uh, Wanda can hold this pretty well. He's got a castle that's been mass repaired, of course, and he's actually got quite a few scum and cavalry into the mix here. Just not enough Chukonu, not even elite yet from Chukonu. Not enough damage output coming in. Plus, plus with the elite Chukonu, they fire more arrows, I believe, as well, so. He has got the rocketry, though. How would they now start, start streaming in? But it has just lost one, two trebs here. And that castle will stay up, and that now nah, that castle under pressure did. Four treads into the mix. I wonder if it's just bossy. Last man's now being done as well, just finished the last attack of Raven. The gal is just thinking, I need wood. I hate it at this stage of the game when you're under so much pressure, it's just, it's funny, it's just mass panic. Alright. Everything is just going wrong, but one of the things where you just sort of slowly coming to your inevitable defeat. I can't see where the gal can break this. The trade is literally it's safe for the moment, but it won't be for long. It's a bit fortunate that it's actually really at the back of the map, but it won't take long, but it proves that carving a hole in the middle. Now seeing another siege rock being put up there from the gal probably to get some Bombay cannons out. Something. Now starting to see a slow push of those Bombay towers there from Pike. He's gonna to to take up all the extra gold and stone you can find. Just pushing even further. So a couple of Bombay cans are coming out there from Dugal, so hopefully we might try and slow the push. I've now just got this, I can't see how they can do much more in terms of from the SY team. It's like actually Dugal even sent a couple of those uh, Hussars and Kalan uh, sorry, Kaladin's Cavaliers to try and help out here. Not a bad idea, because they help against those skirmishes for starters, and also quite a bit of like a frontline attack against the Cavaliers as well. Whilst the Chukonus just do their work. It's still not elite though, but again, you have to remember, Yo just slung a ton of resources to Dugao earlier on, so you probably look a little bit light on that front. It's, it's still pretty close to score-wise, only 300 difference, but it's just more the fact that the trade is in so much danger at this point. The Bombay Tower slowly creeping in, and Sending hazards in to try and deal against pan cannons is a death sentence, quite frankly. I think they just need to... Uh, just, yeah, just need Bombay cannons, and maybe some zone Bombay towers, but it's one of those things where it's like, they need this, they need that, but it's... it's you know, the state of the game is not, not where it's meant to be at this point. There's a couple of trade cards that are getting picked off here, a couple of rogue ones making their way across the map, and... It's quite nice there. Oh. What, their trading score? Milkford, how can you say this game's over? <laughs> Yo is just bossing right now. The castle is still up though, he did lose his own castle. And one trip isn't really going to cut it. I mean, I've even seen as well Northern Pike trying to do some hand cans against those, <clears throat> against those, uh, basically the Halberdier, but not going to work against that sort of mixture. Cavalier's going to send for a suicide run, just trying to pick up that trap, and they will do. A little bit caught out there, it seems. Whilst at the same time, it looks like uh, Pike is just slowly pushing in. He knows he's, he's got he's got a huge advantage down here. I think he's trying to help stabilize the top hand side. This is just I, I can't see how they got a higher score. We are seeing some raiding coming in, by the way. How did the gal get a siege ram in the base? It must have been open the gate, but <laughs> that's quite funny. A rogue siege ram inside. Even a couple of hussars trying to make their way in. Kills a cheeky trade cut, but not ready to. Again. Right home about. But now massive of hussars now coming in of course. It's pretty easy to do, just get sling of food and just start spamming them out. And it's just like you might have to push back a little bit here. At least delay Pike and get the trade rolling still. Take out those Bombay cans would be a big pushback. 
Looks like you will take out a couple and then uh, call it a day, basically. And at the same time, this will help provide some little bit of cover as well for Dogal to take out these Bombay Towers. Oh, pause. Have I dropped? No. No. And there we go, unpaused. Ah, fish and alpha number one, of course. Really good important upgrades to get. I absolutely love it. It just, just helps beef up your, your, your uh, HP in buildings. Especially with the castle, that's the most important thing, really. That should help keep it alive. There's only one kind of really firing on it. A couple of siege rounds making their way in, but light cap should deal with this. I just felt like one just struggling on the gold front, though. Oh, he didn't get heavy cloud. Okay. Whoops. But skirmish is now starting to roll in. That should help matters, really. I mean, it's just mostly the same thing coming in from Yogg, Alvin Scum. A lot of chicka news, but. Again, not even the leak, but that's fine. But none, for now, though, they are holding the line here. Looks like mostly Hassar trading going on. Mm, trying to basically snipe each other's Bombay cannons. It's, actually, looks like the Gal is actually pushing this back. We've got Seed Rams coming in, but Bombay cannons getting some free shots in on those uh, Bombay towers. It's actually going to push this back. Unbelievable. You okay? I'll speak to you again. Just keep sending if you have extra. But this is incredible! Like, the fact that you're able to push this top hand side, force Pike to send some units across, and I think it's been slow down. Bit too much, didn't push fast enough, and now the Gal is fighting back here. Doing a pretty good job, I have to say. This could this has been a fantastic game so far. Unless though, still not over, still not out of the woods yet, but more and more siege rounds being put, put, pushed in. A couple of cavaliers been sent by Wanda as well to try and help the situation out. Try and take out some of them. Sars, sea drams, whatever. A couple of those Bombay cans can caught out though. Might lose a couple, he's not too careful. Now we're seeing Bombay towers of the Gal's own. But look at the trade as well, looking actually a little bit better, I have to say. There's not much trade coming in from the Naps team. This could be where the downfall is coming from. I don't see any trade. Whereas, look at the SY team, they've got trade in the numbers. And now they just slow down because they're going full trash. And it will become to a point where, soon enough, that trade equilibrium. Will just be way up kill. It already is, but once you got to the point where you know basically your investment comes back, that's it. Especially the Turks. I mean, a Turk with gold versus a Turk with no gold. We know who's gonna win. And we're seeing the fruits of that label coming out already. Bombay can trebuchets coming out to take out all these Bombay ties. He's losing all the progress he's currently had. Again, haven't found much done yet, but he's in the game to play Barding Army now. Play this. Yo is, well, he's still making some good progress, he's holding, he's basically holding his position slash, you know, taking down the castle, it's a good objective taken. Now, of course, the trade is still, I have to say, the trade is very exposed. But Yo is being patient, he's not gonna, he's not gonna lose his position. Gonna keep pushing in with those siege rams. That castle down the left hand side is looking up for grabs as well, and I'm gonna see the trade coming through this section as well. We could just see Yo send everything in. Mass skirms can one shot those breakups. Unbelievable, what a comeback coming in here from the SY team. I I was not expecting I said this game was done and dusted, never say that. That is just I always say that. <laughs> the game's done. And then what happens? Great comeback, I have to say so far. Still not over though. Again, both teams could always have a comeback of each other. But is this this momentum looking really strong. Four siege rams coming in the Halberdier is gonna take care of those cavaliers and cars under a little bit of threat there. Has got a lot of HP and on top of the hill, but Ooh, I don't think it's enough. Looks like the one that's going to start pushing us back a couple of cavaliers been sent in. Actually quite a lot of skirms as well. 56 military to 41. they still got more military than Nab's team, but again, it's mostly... Okay, actually heavy camels now starting to be put in here from Pike, so maybe the trade isn't as bad as I thought. It doesn't seem to be definitely as extensive. He's definitely turned this game on his head, that's for sure. Ground has been recovered by Dugal. And... Yeah, he has got a problem though in terms of those heavy, heavy camels. So we'll lose all those cavaliers pretty quickly. But the Bombard Towers should help secure just a couple. Just mass stables coming in from both players. I do like this oh, lovely move up top here, by the way, as well. Siege Ram pushing through the Stone Gate. I should start raiding that economy, the Hussars and Cavaliers streaming into the base. I'll do a lot of damage as well to the, to the economy. Just villagers just dropping like flies at this point. Might have to maybe reset those lumber lines, looking a little bit... Okay, 
pretty far out, but also, you know, blocking a trade a little bit here, so... Probably get on top of this, and also... We'll soon just choke this up as well. Two times while making their way in, just killing farms. I mean, why not? <laughs> why not just kill farms? We're actually doing a lot of damage here right now, because Pike is... Is Pike coming back yet? Okay, he is now starting to come back with those Hussars and heavy camels, but... The damage, I would say, has been pretty well done. You know, he's dropped down to 93, but 160 pop in total. And look at this, the Gal's 189 190. And of course, it's actually quite a food heavy combo that Pike's going for. Hussars, heavy camels, and so on and so forth. So he needs those farmers, and he's just killing all the farmers. Pike is not putting them to TT whatsoever. He's building some more with the ex ex excess wood. He's lost two town centers, and he's lost a lot of farming eco, and this is pretty big. He might get some help from Wanda, but not looking so great. We're seeing on the left-hand side right now. Well, I should get the pushback coming in from Wanda. He's got the skirmishes and I like light cap in place, basically. Doing some good, good work, but the rams are here from Yo will do a big help there. Help try and soak up the damage and should allow those Chukonu. Oh, now Elite! He has Elite Chukonu! Yes! Not much damage, really, in terms of actual increase. But it's the arrows that come out. So if there is damage increase, it's just the extra arrows, that's why. There we go. Like, I like to take these things and the long way around and try to explain. A couple of traps moving a little bit dangerously forward. But, yep. They're, just, they're, they're bold. They're just bold. They're some bold traps. 17 HP. Doesn't give a damn. <laughs> you know, Yo realizes. <laughs> like, run away! Brilliant. Up at the top though, oh, even forced deletion of the market as well from the sort of threat of the siege rams. All they got, yeah, they must have got deleted. But so many hills going down. Is Pike AFK? Pike has just lost everything. He is down to 122 pop. He's lost half his eco, just sick bills wise. He needs some big sling. Yo just slaps in a thousand gold. That is disgusting, by the way. He has a thousand gold spare. Now it's just gonna force this, this sort of bomb side even further back because he hasn't got any economy to support this. At all. And now, of course, the trader stopped on top of that, so the goal is running short. That's why he might have this. Now we're starting to see some mangonels popping out here from Wanda, but that's dead. The Rams are dead, because he's got Elite Chuko New going. Ooh. Dangerous times coming out here. Has he rebuilt the market? Okay, he has rebuilt the market, so trade will be back up and running, but the damage has been done. A couple of Bombard Towers were even put up in the process, just a nice wood, really. Also, help. Stop the gap from being closed. Bit more sling coming in for the gal. The gal's rich now, people. The gal is rich. Oof. Moving on down the south as well, Bombard Cannons, and the Siege Rams pushing forward here, and again, Pike has nothing. He's got 32 military, in fact, but, I mean, the gal has 44, 45 now for starters, and the fact that they're all way back in his own base, I think, half, but anyway, yeah. And someone's on the other side, if I remember. This trade is getting dangerously, perilously close to for Yo's liking. I just want to take care of these buildings, basically, and that's it. He just gets here, or maybe here or somewhere. I just want to get inside. But he's not going to overextend. Doesn't want to lose his entire army. Lose all momentum just currently gained and got back, basically. And send those rams in once more. And actually, probably force a reaction out from one. It's going to send those cavaliers and light cabin, but the halberdiers coming in. As well as the Chico News should be enough to basically deter Wanderer. Wanderer on 44, 46 military in fact. Still heavy camels in the trade there. Not getting a lot done though. Now we got the Rams to take out yet another structure, but I'm just going to back off, be a little bit more patient. Doesn't feel so comfortable fighting on the higher ground, so he's just going to go back and use those Chico News. God, they fire. They do damage. And look at this, he can smell the trade. He sees it. He's gonna take it. Watch me while as well, it's like actually Bombay Cannon trying to take care of those Bombay Towers up down the south as well. This cavalry just pushing forward. All those all those cars have just gone there from Pike and you know, even Bombay Towers on top of that as well. He's got a couple of heavy camels there, Pike, but against just this huge massive army coming in with the dugout. I don't know how he can stand it. His numbers are dropping, he cannot, he doesn't have the economy either, 56 bills, he's actually lost more than he's gained currently. And even a cheeky Hussar, just picking bills off one by one, oof, that is so annoying. Oh, well, he's found a, he's actually found a trade card, but, there you go. Yo, 
is literally at the trade right now. He just killed a couple more trade cards. They even signed to split up as well, so making it even easier for Joe. He doesn't have to go much further than this to pick up the trade. And he's just picking up all the units. There's a couple of skirmishers trying to hold the line here. Even a couple of cavalry making their way in. I think he might kill all these Truko Nu, but a lot of damage has been done already. And now comes even more Truko Nu. Even some stables are going to start making their way in. We can even see maybe some you know, cavaliers from Yo. He's just going all out. And that should just do perfect. Take care of the skirmishers. They'll even also do well against the you know, stand up match against the Chinese uh, from Monda's Cavalier. A couple of cavalry from the Gal. He's even found his way in a couple more villas to start building some archery ranges, it seems, down the south as well. Probably able to push on the front here. A couple of heavy camels help take care of these cavalier and help slow down the push. And there we go. GG gets called by Wanda. Nilford. Nilford. See, I didn't think either. I was I didn't want to question, but I'm not too sure if Pike did have the caravan. I might look at the stat match stats at the end. But Wow, great game. I tell you what, yo, what a beast. He not only manages to hold the left-hand side, basically, which was for a while, and then push, but also sling the girl back in the game and support. He pushes so well to force Pike to come over to the other side, and then the girl's able to recover, and also just through the trade as well. I, there was definitely a big trade deficit this game, enough anyway to swing the momentum back when Pike had to go to the other side. And I think he got maybe a little bit caught unawares by the fact that the girl was... Not in the. They probably thought, okay, the gal's practically dead. It's okay. I'll come help you. And then, uh, I think he should have, honestly, I think he should have just gone, as far as Pike, personally, I think I would have just gone straight into the trade because just kill the trade off. Uh, yeah, yeah, you always push you Wanda, but I felt like Wanda could have held that a little bit longer if you if just Pike just committed everything into it. But that's a lot of ifs and buts, so I don't want to, I can't say I'll do any, I could do any better, but, um, that's the story of the game, though. Uh, 576 to 497, 77 units, largest army from Pike. That's actually surprising, but the economy wise, if I'm looking at it, look at this, yeah, this is huge. 12,590 trade profit and similar from Yo, and it's only 4 and 2. Again, that's, that's the same thing we saw last game between Pike and Wanda, was that in the Spanish business team. A little bit different though, circumstances wise, but again, the trade was diff was huge. The gold collection was huge as well. Like at the end, De Gaulle nearly had double. Well, not, well, not, well, not double as such, but. A lot more gold, basically. Like, they had three times the trade profit, basically. So, that's, that's crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. Reddit gold as well from Yo was 3,000 as well. Beautiful. Uh, and the guy even picked up one relic as well. So, again, relic is pretty good key. Good team play there from Yo, from the SY team. That was one hell of a game. Brilliant play, I have to say.